I fished all over the Northwest I'm from Idaho and when I found this place I knew it was special and that's why I've been here for 10 years. You, you don't have to have any prior experience to come try fly fishing. It's more of the experience of going outside and you know learning things on the river and seeing the bugs on the rocks. At Brush Creek, we have six or seven ponds on property. We do a lot of pond fishing, still water fishing, countless miles of weight fishing, float fishing through the float season. And then in the winter, we do ice fishing as well. We're endorsed by Orvis, so we have Orvis waders, boots, rods, everything. So uh, you just show up in whatever you're wearing and we'll get you suited and booted and get out on the river. The on-ranch moving water, um, it's all inclusive. Some spots are within a couple minutes away and you can eat your breakfast and have a nice easy morning and then hop out on the creek. It's great fishing, has a lot of wild fish in it. Compared to our off property fishing um, on the Platte River, it's a lot bigger, uh, a lot more fish. Uh, it's a little bit more of elite fishing. On the Platte at any given day, you can see salmon flies. You can come down and get into a PMD hatch. I mean, you got your stone flies, you got your mayflies, you got your caddis, you got your midge. That all come off on the Platte, and some days they're all coming off at the same time. So any time of the year, you're fishing some kind of hatch. One of my favorite stretches is uh, the Encampment River. Um, it's just a little bit smaller. You know, the fish you're catching are generally, you know, 10 to 15 feet away from you. So it's a lot more visual, a little bit more challenging and uh, a lot more rewarding. We have rafts and drift boats. The upper stretches of the platter are real rocky, some bigger rapids. So when you're bouncing off rocks up there, you want to be in a raft and not a drift boat. And then as you get north towards town, the river kind of slows down, turns in these big gravel bars that we use those drift boats to slide over. And it's a little bit slower, a little bit easier going. And you see well-traveled people and well-traveled anglers that come and fish some of this stuff and then come back to you and say that was the best fishing they've ever had. It's pretty rewarding.